Yeah, good afternoon everyone. It's a uh, lovely spring afternoon here in the Manning Valley. Uh, my job for this afternoon that I'm going to be looking at tackling is uh, doing the transfer uh, of all the four nuke boxes that we picked up uh, roughly a week and a bit ago. Uh, so I'm going to look at suiting up and uh, do the transfer and show you what's involved in this next step. So I've had the smoker firing up for a good uh, 10 to 15 minutes now so it's really caught nicely. Uh, this uh, hive here on the pallet is going to be the first transfer that I'm going to look at doing. So this is the first time um, I'm in inspecting this new nuke here and um, it's uh, looking quite nice and full. So before coming out to the apiary, I looked at um, saving a bit of time here uh, whilst opening up the boxes to minimise the disturbance. So I've already filled the base tray with the vegetable oil. I've filled up another black hive beetle trap in here in top ready to, ready to go. I've put two frames on this side just due to it getting the warm afternoon sun I think it's going to get a lot more activity there to fill those and then the other single uh, frame in here with a um, already pre ready-made foundation I'm just going to transfer exactly how these five frames adjust straight into that same spot there so just a light little crack on either end of the frame here and the same principle that I was talking about before, about just working slow and calm. And you can see how the bees receive that energy much better than coming in more fast and aggressive. So I'm looking out for the queen as I'm going through and inspecting these frames. There's a little bit of honey on the side there right in front that you can see. So we have some brood on this frame here, quite good full patterns that I can see. Uh, no sign of the queen on this frame here and quite some good activity that you can see there on that one as well. So yeah, very happy with that. It's important to put back the frames in the same direction, how I pick that up like that with my left hand up the top here, so I'm putting it back into the same place. There we go, just spotted the queen. I don't know if the camera's gonna be picking it up. It's coming right in the middle, right at the top part, just walking on the edge there. With that big long bottom, she's just working uphill there now, still sticking right to the edge of the frame. I hope the camera's there. You can probably see if the camera will pick up the sun. Running through that, look at that. That is awesome. Such fresh wax when it's that right, nice, light, pale colour. Fresh foundation that's only just been made. This frame here looks full of honey. This, oh yeah, here's the weight. Look at that. You can see that. Wow, that's thick. That's much heavier. That's a good frame. Full of work of these. That got most of them off. That quick little tap and shake method. Sweep off the last remaining bees there. We'll 
put that out of the uh, picture. Base box here now is quite similar. I've got lots of bees all around the wall here. I know I've already spotted the queen and moved her over, so I don't have to worry about um, hurting or damaging her in this process. Just a quick little... They're starting to get a little bit more edgy here now. Pulley to the right crank that it needs. I believe it's about there, maybe the top one. Strap that down. That's the first one there done. A nice, neat transfer. Last step is just to move it over into this place here. And I've done it here of the afternoon. They'll reset next morning and hopefully they won't know any difference, but a bit of a, um, an upsize to their, um, to their house. This next box I've just opened up here is looking a little bit more lighter in numbers, uh, but I can also, I can already see down here, this frame here looks nice and chocolate block full of honey, which is good to see. There's some good work here in honey production I can see in this frame here. Oh, there we go, I've just spotted the queen. Just coming up to the top part of the frame there. Right along the edge, right now. There she is, working her way up. I'll get her there in now, into safety. So that's a wrap now. I've just transferred over all the four colonies. Uh, they've all got really nice, calm temperament, which is really nice and easy to work with. Uh, the hive on the end here probably had the most bees, uh, which were the most lively and active with lots of honey being produced in there. So they're gonna really appreciate an upsize.